OBS Shet the Bad End didn't record game audio. Mamma mia, my life is a pen. Welcome back. We're gonna lift this cabinet. <sighs> Here it goes. The power of teamwork. Oh work. my gosh. Oh, girl <laughs> power. Now, Jackson, how familiar are you with uh, horror games in general? This have isn't you, a horror game. Have, have, have you played many a horror game? Uh, I played a little bit of Half Life Alex. Gotcha. I get it. That's funny. <laughs> It's a good joke. Uh, um, so you never played like a Silent Hill or anything like that? Um, no, definitely not. I played some of Resident Evil 4, but that's like maybe the closest thing to a horror game. Not I'd say good. Resident Evil 4 is close enough. Yeah. I mean, hey, I'm, a Molotov! Yeah. Where the hell did you get that? That's what she she just found it. Action -y, but it's a, it's a, it's Man, a that's a, this is a wacky looking mm -hmm. Molotov. Molotov set fire in an area. Check out that liquid fluidity. Now, where'd she shove that? <laughs> now, what would you guys say if I told you that there was a user in the Silent Hill wiki who vehemently believed that the Silent Hill games were all anti-circumcision propaganda? Does he have a lot of evidence? Uh, he has theories. <laughs> Okay. That's the best kind of evidence. He has have. speculation. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now let's look for the crack in the wall I missed. Nice. Let's do it. Oh, it's a window, maybe, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you were right. You see, Tanner? Well, oh, I think these are runners, not clickers. And before you said that Jackson ain't a pro gamer, saying that he only plays games like Rocket League and. League of Legends, and how can someone be a pro gamer if that's all they do? And like, yeah, look at you now. The soap's on your face now, ain't it, Tanner? The soap's on my face. Yeah, the soap's on your face. I like that you pick two games that I don't play. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how it be, Jake. Uh-oh. That's okay. That's my bad. Nah, you're probably fine. Okay, so there's clickers mixed in with runners. Got it. Do you get one shot by everything if they get too close to something? I definitely don't get one shot by runners. I'm guessing I do by clickers then. Mm -hmm. Is that guy even facing me? He wasn't. Dang it. Nope. He went for it for no reason. Huh? That's okay. That's alright. We don't judge here. This is a judgment free zone, if you will. Now, all this AI might be able to kill stuff for me, they do also do the thing where she can't alert enemies, even though she absolutely would. Okay, so there's a clicker right there. That's, that's probably a runner over there. Well, let's do this. Oh. Yep, there you go. Perfect. There you go. Man, this Tanner guy's brain is massive. He got that big brain. IQ... They don't die. Nope. You see, Jackson? This is why we tell Tanner he's got that dumb high IQ of 189. <laughs> we all took those IQ tests in our English class junior year. We know exactly. what each other are. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, you're fine. You're fine, Tanner. Man, the dynamic fights in this game are really intense. Really yeah, they're just flailing I around. gotta say, I thought the Molotovs would kind of just kill them. <laughs> it kind of just set them on fire, and then they ran at me. <laughs> what was the point of that? Well, don't need the masks anymore. Yeah. Right? It's not like there's dead infected surrounding yeah. us. Now you see, circling back over to the whole Silent Hill circumcision thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's hear keep some going, of these theories. Alright, so I don't exactly have the theories themselves. Uh, more so just the mad ramblings of the dude proposing them. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going on about how... Uh, now what do you think are the odds that this guy is in fact circumcised and is just unbridly mad about it? I mean, there's a strong possibility. I know there are many a men out there like that. You think this is the type of dude that would like... Kill somebody and steals their foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I mean, honestly, Jackson, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, he does go on about how, uh, how people who uh, are pro-circumcision are advocating for genital mutilation. Uh, and that people who do so are uh, mutilating penises and are fucking brainwashed morons. 
it has a huge effect and huge influence on people's development. Nico, do you think you and I are, are like, <laughs> extremely different from other dudes because we're circumcised? Yeah. I, don't, I'm, I would include you, Jax, but I don't know where you're Jackson, at. Jax, you're uncircumcised, aren't you? Yeah, I am. That's because okay. he's Jewish. <laughs> Is it the exact opposite of what I should be if I'm Jewish? Uh, are you Jewish? I'm not Jewish. Really? I got a fat ass nose, though. So I was I was more there. going off of because your last name is Eggers, but sure we can say that. <laughs> I always just go for the nose angle, to be honest. That's what gets most people going. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna wow. have to reevaluate my entire life. I, I've been going on this entire time just being really convinced that you are in fact Jewish. <laughs> I mean, I've got like Jewish tendencies with money, but what maybe. is that? <laughs> it means he's frugal, Tanner. Okay, he's a frugal individual. I'm the type of Jewish dude that my, tendencies. My, I'm the type of dude that fucking has a friend give him something for free at some point, and then later on ask them to pay half of something if they buy something together. Lamau, don't worry, Jackson. I'm in that same boat. However, the circumcision man, <laughs> um, he also believes that uh, this whole uh, trend with circumcision is trend. a trend. Yeah, it's been going on for hundreds of years, has it not? Yeah. Been going for uh, it's an obvious years. inclination that people who practice it are into Satanism. Okay. Satanism or yes. sadism? Satanism. Satanism. Yeah. That's an odd claim. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, I don't really, I don't quite follow that one. <laughs> let's, let's, let's friggin' yeet her up that, <gasps> is that a crowbar? <gasps> oh no, that's nothing. This one. What? Holy shit, you can lift that thing up? Hell yeah, dude. Why can girl, she, how can she lift up the dresser there, <laughs> Uh, that, that does seem to be, like, a freaking air conditioning unit, so, yeah. Yeah, that thing would be massive. You know, crowbars, the, the, they, they do anything. How did she get that much cable out of that one tiny little thing? That's nuts. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I, feel, I feel like electrical cable probably shouldn't be able to support a person's weight, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, whatever works, I guess. And probably not an air duct, either. This entire situation seems <laughs> preposterous. I'm My immersion is immediately broken. I mean, broken. as long as both of you don't go up at the same time, you'll be okay. Let's see if they do. Hey, yeah, you see, it's all good. It's all good. That was the the clamber got a bit weird at the end there, but Bull L wanted to climb faster. Yeah, you <laughs> see, instead <laughs> of uh, all those ladder puzzles and such from the previous game, now they're doing rope puzzles. <laughs> that, that, that's what's big in this one. That's the innovation. They're gonna oh, be we got big. a blizzard. I mean, it's the horsies. It's Man, they, chilling out there. Yeah, they've just been there this whole time, eh? Where'd the moose go? Why did you go in there again? Just walk oh, no, off, falling off a roof. Here, the moose. Don't worry, we avenged you. <laughs> oh, that's right, you're supposed to be clearing out the clickers, aren't you? Yeah, that's yeah. our job, we're on patrol. That's right. Oh, look how cold our horse is. That's why he's waving his tail so much. That's why. Yeah, if this was Red, Red Dead 2, then its balls would be like really sucked up in here. It really, the yeah. Is that a thing? Yes. <laughs> they have testicles in Red Dead 2, and they, they grow and shrink according to temperature. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, this is going to really determine our friendship here. When you guys play Cyberpunk 2077, what type of fucking dick are you going to give your character? Uh, oof. Probably, probably just a normal-sized one. Or, yeah, I'll do above average. Yeah, I'll probably spring for that as well. But also, as usual, I will be playing a female character. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So I guess that. I'm playing a trans person. Yeah. A fucking food and Mary character. <laughs> exactly. It'll be a food. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> They're just chicks. We might. Chicks we we. That's okay. All they are. We're. I was gonna say we might get in trouble. I think we're safe. But then you went and said that. <laughs> Man, how'd she run away so quickly? Well, you know. Oh, that's gunshots. Why'd she run away from me so fast? Who knows? And of course, the second she runs away, it's all in trouble now. But she wanted to get away from the whole conversation, you know? Oh, uh, boy. This isn't good. Now, Tanner, who is your favorite? Oh, my favorite? horse is dying. That's good. You can use it to meet later. Tanner, quit dodging the question. Who's your favorite Fuda? Favorite Fuda? Yeah. Let's see. What, what are the well-known ones? You got the cat, the cat boy. What's his name? Alfredo? I mean, that, that's just a trap. That's different. What's the difference? Uh, well, traps are dudes who are dressing like guys. A fuda are dudes dressing like guys. <laughs> Just a bunch of dudes dressing like guys. <laughs> a fuda is, uh, as the name proclaims, a chick with a dick hanger. 
How does that have anything to do with the name? <laughs> I'm confused still. T- J- Jackson, y- y- who-, who do you think is the most well-known food of? That's that's a really good question. I it's either it's either the, it's either the cat or Astolfo. Those are still traps. I listen. I don't think there is a difference. <laughs> You'd probably find them on both subreddits. <laughs> I mean, possibly. possibly. And the general idea is the same. They look like a fucking chicken. They've got a dick. Yeah. However, one of them has breasts, and the other one does not. Which one has breasts? The Thuda. Which one? The Thuda. Oh, I, okay. I thought we were still talking no, about the categories. Estolfo and Felix. <laughs> so, Jackson, are you more partial to Estolfo or Felix? Uh, I'm more of an Estolfo guy. Myself. Ah, that's what I thought. A man of culture. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to continue hanging out in this library and being cultured in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.